The head of one of Britain's biggest house builders, Persimmon, has come under public criticism after walking out of a BBC interview in which he was asked about his £75 million bonus. Jeff Fairburn said it was unfortunate that he'd been asked the question. The bonus was one of the biggest ever awarded by a public listed company. Our business correspondent, Emma Simpson, has the story. Yes, so there's a lot of, lot of buttons at market. Do you want to come up here, Mark? Jeff Fairburn was after a good news story with the opening of his company's new brick factory near Doncaster. But things soon got awkward when he was asked about his £75 million bonus. I, uh, I think, yeah, I'd, so I'd rather not talk about that. It's been well covered, actually. So, so you don't want to discuss that today? Are there any lessons, are there any lessons to be learned from that? It was the biggest bonus in the country. No. OK, right, fine. I think that's really unfortunate, actually, that you've done that. Uh... Anis Karmani is a dissatisfied persimmon homeowner in Harrow. He was sold his property leasehold when neighbours later bought their homes with a more valuable freehold. Well, I'm not surprised, but I'm, but I'm, I'm angry. I'm absolutely angry about this, 75 million. So basically this whole development is his bonus. And if you can get a 75 million bonus, I don't understand why they can't give us the freehold for free. Persimmon built the foundations for this pay controversy five years ago with a new long-term incentive scheme. For these bosses, the higher the share price, the higher the bonus. And boy, did the share price soar. It was fueled by the government's help to buy scheme, which encourages first-time buyers onto the property ladder. It was this which helped push up demand, prices and Persimmon's profits. There's been no comment from the company or Mr Fairburn today, though he's previously said he'd donate some of his bonus to charity. With hindsight, saying so here might have gone down better than walking away. Emma Simpson, BBC News.